I want to invite Efrat Rafaeli. She grew up in a kibbutz near Gaza and lost many of the people she loved and also some kidnapped. And she'll share her testimony with us. Bring them home. My name is Efrat and this is my story. I'm an Israeli citizen who grew up on Kibbutz Gvulot, five miles from the Gaza Strip. October 7, 2023, a Saturday morning. I woke up to an unusually sleepy WhatsApp group of my Israeli friends from high school, but they were texting each other that terrorists had entered their communities, their home. They were texting because the army was absent. No one was there to protect them. The texts were frantic, shocking, scary. They seemed unreal. I immediately called my mom, who lives in a small community near the Gaza Strip. She was safe, I breathed. But then, the news from my friends who had survived started to arrive. Galit Downs, my friends, children were taken hostage with her elder mom. My friends Noam, Sagi, mom was taken hostage. She's in her late 70s. My friends on Anatsili's brother was murdered. Another friend was missing their son. Has anyone seen him? The police flooded through Facebook, WhatsApp and Instagram. And then the photos arrived and the news started to arrive. Hamas had massacred more than 200 Israelis youths in a desert festival in Reim, a kibbutz that I know very well and went to high school with. Hamas had killed children in front of their parents' eyes. Hamas took more than 150 hostages, among them babies and sick elders. Hamas raped women in front of dead bodies. Hamas killed more than 1,200 and counting innocent people who had just woken up on a Saturday morning, Shabbat. Please bring them home. 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 Please. Do not mistake this as a fight for freedom. Freedom can never be sought through brutal, inhumane, and barbaric actions. Right. Hamas is a terrorist organization whose sole purpose is to destroy us, the people of Israel. And I ask you, what would you do if you woke up on a Saturday morning with terrorists raiding your home and killing your children. As a citizen of Israel, I stand united with my country in our fight against Hamas. I call on the local, lo local and global community to stand with Israel as we fight for our lives, our homes, and our future. I call all mothers and fathers to voice their horror and rage against these brutal crimes. I call all mothers and fathers to help Israel get our children back alive, safe, with no negotiations right now. Bring them home. Bring them home. Bring them home.